All right, let me show you real quick how to kill Radagon and the Elden Beast um, easily. All right, this is how to cheese them so you can save some of your flask. So first thing that you're gonna do is to use a magic, right? So let's go ahead and uh, open up our memorized spell here. You're gonna need a Karian Slicer. All right, Karian Slicer. So this is a magic spell, just get it from Selen. All right, just somewhere in um, Stormgrave, just uh, Limgrave, just get it from Selen. And then of course you're gonna need the staff. So I just upgraded mine to plus 24, because if you notice, my intelligence sucks here. It's just 25 because I'm actually a dex build, but it should work. You know, just upgrade your weapon to uh, to have a, a pretty good scaling and whatnot. And um, let's allocate our flash just to make sure that we have enough FP. But um, as a matter of fact, you can actually do something else better. We'll do something else better later on uh, to save our FP even better. So let's go ahead and. Um, get into the final boss here, Radagon. Now this is just in order to save some of our flask, right? Our um, crimson flask. So when you fight the, the Elden Beast, you have a lot of healing potions yet. All right, so let's go ahead and enter here. I'm just gonna skip the cinematics. You know, we all probably seen it already. First thing you're gonna do is run here, run straight and then stop close to him, right? So if you notice, he actually stopped responding, right? He's still alive, still awake, but it's not gonna retaliate, it's not gonna aggro as long as you stay here. Stay close to him and do not use your melee or any of your uh, big movement. So we're gonna use our Karyon Slicer here and just slice him like one at a time, right? Now, take note, you cannot use your melee here, so don't use any punches or any, any weapon or anything. Just use Karyon Slicer and just um, basically slash him like that, you know, slice him like that. And uh, as you've noticed, that's pretty small, 207. But that should work, you know, if you do that again and again, right, until um, the life depletes. Now, of course, gonna use um, FP here. So essentially, you're also using your health potion, right? But you can do this in just using one task or one flask, Cerulean Tears. Um, just use the, uh, you know, like a regenerative FP. Let's go ahead and go into the inventory here and the Starlight Shards, you notice? That's gonna gradually recover FP, so just, um, you know, break one. And if you notice, um, FP is now recovering. So essentially you have like an unlimited FP at this duration. Now take note, do not combo, right? Do not move or run away or sideways. Do not um, jump, you know, do not use your melee weapons. Just use your Karyan Slicer one at a time. Don't tap it too fast, cause it's gonna combo and that's gonna aggro him. So just do this like this until the end of the first phase and it's gonna be dead in no time. All right, so as you can see, he's about to die here. Just take note, by the way, just in case that he gets staggered, do not engage him, right? Do not attack him because it's gonna aggro. So if he staggers, just wait for him to come back again. Or actually, um, once he staggers, use everything you've got already, like equip everything like what I'm about to do right now. Just um, put your main weapon, your armors, and everything essentially. Be ready to fight. Because um, if he staggers, like he drop down on knees, and then you attack him, he's gonna aggro and start killing you already. But typically it doesn't happen if you wait, you know, interval, per interval if you attack. Like you, you drop down his stagger bar, but if you attack super fast, um, he might stagger. But let's go ahead and equip everything we've got here. Um, you know, all the talismans as well. Make sure you prepare one. And then uh, we're also going to summon our mimic or, you know, whatever um, summon you're using. Um, just to make sure that you're prepared for the phase two. Well, that should work. Okay. So let's go ahead and kill him right now. Alright, so let's summon uh, 
our mimic, our best friend mimic, and go ahead and kill him. All right, now what you managed to do is to essentially save your flask, right? You now have 10 flask, and uh, if you probably did it right, if you're better than me, you're gonna have like 12 flask. So you have a lot to restore or to use a ceiling potion here. Second phase is pretty easy. I mean, you know, he moves a lot though. So just um, quick, uh, you know, make sure your movements are quick and quickly follow him wherever he goes. Um, there's also a cheese here. Just attack him right in the back, like right here. Now, if you actually attack him continuously here and you don't move an inch as well, is not gonna move so much so let me try to do it here it's more difficult to do it here though because he tends to uh, go away right and do his combos and whatnot but again you have a lot of flask also you don't really need to cheese him here but just in case you really have to um, you can try it by going to his back essentially to the butt right so around the side butt here let me let me try it here all right around here so if you go there and uh, your mimic is in front he's actually gonna be like confused or he, he will stop a bit and you can get some free attack so let me try to do it uh, one more time but essentially his half his life is already in half so it should be easy got a lot of potions anyway and the more important thing there is your mimic is still alive right because you know if you did not cheese the first one and you just mimic um, it's probably dead already right now. So here, as you notice, I'm trying to attack the back, and look at that. He stopped moving, right? And right now, it's not that responsive anymore. It's like kind of paralyzed, right? It's just like roaming around there. So you're gonna get a lot of free attacks there. Um, be careful in this one. This will kill you, by the way. So let me pump some healing potion there. But go back and just attack the bot here. Attacking from the rear. And that should do it. Pretty easy. So that's how you cheese a um, Radagon, essentially, and the Elden Beast. I hope this helps. Happy Elden Ring, guys.